What day is it? It's Saturday. S A T U R D A Y night vlog. We did that the very first time. Remember? No. We did a vlog like that before. You don't remember it? No, well, we exactly. did. What day is it? Saturday. S A T U R D A Y <laughs> night vlog. Well, we just did a video uh, doing the uh, giveaway announcement. The winners for it. She wrote them all down and cut them all up and drew them. And uh, we're getting ready to go watch a movie, but we were uh, making lasagna. I cooked up some burgers earlier, and uh, lasagna is, you know, it was a big tray of it. I love lasagna. It's one of my favorite foods. Top three favorite foods. Go. Leave me in the comments. My favorite. What is it? You know? Lasagna. Nope. You fail. <laughs> Failure. Deviled eggs. There you go. Watermelon. Lasagna. There, that's the top three. Deviled eggs, watermelon, and lasagna. Top three right there. What are yours? I don't know. All right, that was that was a good good go to question right there. I don't know. Nope, never thought about nope. it. Some kind of burgers then. Nope. Don't I, eat burgers. I just cooked you a burger. I ate turkey burgers. They were good turkey burgers. Put mozzarella, some um, fresh grown peppers on there, chili peppers. Um. So, anyways, I digress. Let me get back to the point here. We're gonna go watch uh, what we do in the shadows. A great New Zealand horror comedy. <laughs> don't you give me that. <laughs> And uh, uh, we're going to do some Halloween decorations too, but we just got the lasagna out. I want to do a quick video showing you the lasagna because it looks yumtastic, amazing. Oh my gosh, the things I want to do to it. <laughs> there it is right there. Oh gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. <laughs> Feel the, the heat emanating off of there. And it's actually beautiful right now. It's raining. I love the rain. It's cooled down. Tomorrow's supposed to be in the 80s though. Beautiful fall weather here in New Jersey. Uh, but I'm excited for it. I'm excited for us to watch this movie. I hope you like it. I think it was hilarious as heck. Let me know what your favorite horror comedy movie is. We will see you in a bit. We're going to let this cool down. We're going to start the movie. Maybe we'll take an intermission and get a little break, a little snack in there. I uh, have a couple pumpkin beers again. The River Horse Hippo Lantern, which is banging. Expect a review of that coming soon, but that's the short right there. Maybe uh, it'll get you to do another uh, video with me. Maybe. What do you think? Do a little beer review with me? Maybe. All right. All right. So there you go. We'll be back in a minute. See you guys later. All right. I figured I would do a complete collection overview as well in this video. And right now, I've got her choosing the next movie we're going to watch after what we do in the shadows. What ones do we got here? Go ahead and show them. Halloween. And the 4K. The Collector. The Collector. Which I think is like Saw Meets Home Alone. Ghost Storage, which I haven't seen. New Horror Anthology. Shredder, which is a cheesy fun one, and uh, Bad Ronald, which is getting a Blu-ray release, and Witchery with uh, David Hasselhoff and Linda Blair. Cheesy. And there's uh, what we do in the shadows, but uh, I'll go ahead and there's just stacks on the floor right here, just everywhere. And then oh <laughs> she actually helped me uh, organize these three bookcases. Um, and the 4Ks, I might actually, I'm debating about integrating them with the Blu-rays or keeping them separate. But if I keep them separate, I'm going to put them at the top. Um, here's just some special editions and box sets at the top right there. There's Blu-rays, Blu-rays, and more special editions down there. It's just, I got to get all this stuff off the floor. Um, still got to take a bunch of ones out and get rid of ones I don't want to watch again and uh, there's a bunch of ones I still need to watch to see. There's that cool uh, data Star Trek Next Generation VHS set from the UK and here's some DVDs and then here's all horror DVDs over here and did you pick one yet? There's I TV shows. So you, you picked two. Yeah. Oh, the witchery wasn't on the list. I know, I know, I know. It wasn't, but I'm curious. And the we have, collector. We have a whole list that we're gonna, we made of horror movies we're gonna watch this month. And witchery wasn't on the list, no, but like, now now you want to see it because well, you can't the hassle Hoff, the Hoff. You know? I'm interested. All right. Well, so I don't know. You pick. All right. Well, I'm, I'm not sure yet. We'll, uh, I'll think about it while I'm okay. doing the rest of this. And let us know which one you would choose from these two and also from all of these. Eventually we're going to watch them all, but uh, the very next one, let us know what one you would choose. And you do that. here's the office area, which have the bus sets up at the top there. And then I've got one more of the bus set, the Caesar, Plan of the Apes. Awesome DVD collection set right there. And then I got a bunch of stuff all over the floor over here. I'm going to do some reviews for pumpkin related stuff right there. So little sneak peeks at stuff. And here's all horror Blu-rays right here. 
And here's some box sets and stuff and Funko Pops. And Evil Dead 2 10 signed up by uh, Bruce Campbell. The old Anchor Bay 10s, which were awesome. And I was able to get uh, this signed up by Robert England, who charges a lot now. Remember uh, back in the day he didn't use the charge as much, but uh, you know, good for him. And then Lynn Wayne, who signed uh, Wolverine on the top. I like getting the actual sign on the Funko figure themselves instead of on the window. I don't like that. He passed away recently. He was a co-creator of Wolverine and Swamp Thing. And there's Butch Patrick signed up on the head right there of Eddie Munster with a Wolfie figure. And I met him at a convention uh, a couple years ago. He was really nice. And I like to take all my Funko Pop figures out of the boxes and actually display them. I know, I feel like most... Funko Pop collectors uh, just leave them in the box. I, I'm not a big fan of that. And then getting them signed on the window box, I, I don't like it. Um, I prefer getting them signed up on the actual figure. I think it looks awesome. And I like having them out. You know, just like uh, it makes me think of like a horror movie. One day I'm gonna wake up and they're gonna be all like coming after me and attacking me in my sleep. I like it. That's that's what I'm in for. And then over here are all uh, Criterion's and Twilight Time. And then here's a big pile of stuff I want to um, get rid of and some of the comic books I want to get rid of as well. Some sports memorabilia, that awesome poster. There's a Phantasm poster over there. I gotta put some of these up finally. And Steelbooks, 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 Digibooks, Arrow Video, Arrow Video. I got a bunch more Arrow Video in the other room. And then I got some more Criterions and a ton of like, four, this is all 4K right here. And I got some more 4K titles in the other room. And there's that Hereditary VHS custom right there. And there's a bunch of other horror movies and stuff just everywhere all up on here so there you go there was the kind of a collection overview real quick and there's my john carver's the thing japanese poster right there and i want to get some more signatures on that one did you make a decision because i'm kind of torn honestly collector or witchery for the next movie after uh what we do in the shadows this one witchery yeah. we're going for the cheese fest yes all right, which re it is. But I'm going to make you watch The Collector soon, too. Because it's on the that's list. Fine. It's on the it's list. It's on the list. I'm fine with it. All right, so that's what's going to be after what we do in the shadows. Uh, we're trying to line up a bunch of movies. We made, it, made a very extensive list. We had to trim it down by a lot. Because there's no way we would watch that many movies. But uh, I'm excited to do all these Halloween-related uh, movie marathons. And we'll be posting more videos and stuff like that. So... Look forward to that, but now we're going to pop in what we do in the shadows. Are you excited? Yes. Did you tell the enthusiasm right there? <laughs> All right, see you in a minute. <laughs> there we are in the back right there. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to watch the movie. I just put the Blu-ray in, and here's the screen, what we do in the shadows. And essentially, it is like uh, Vampires Meet the Real World. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen it. I saw it when it first came out, and I absolutely loved it. I think it's actually kind of an underrated one. I'm going to make my top 10 underrated horror movies on Blu-ray list coming up soon. I did a video of that years ago. i got to do an updated one. I'm debating about putting this one in. Uh, I thought initially it had a lot of hype and buzz for it, but I feel like I haven't heard people mention it in a while. Much like the movie The Horde, which is, uh, I believe, like a, a French infected zombie kind of movie and i think that one is amazing i remember there's tons of hype and buzz about it and then i haven't heard anybody talk about it in years so uh expect a video of my uh, top 10 horror movie top 10 underrated horror movies on blu-ray list coming up soon but now let's go ahead and get into the movie you excited yes all right time to watch what we do in the shadows <laughs> what's going on we just got finished watching uh what we do in the shadows what did you think of it I really liked it. I thought it was funny. You, Original. You laughed a lot in it. I did. Which I like. Who was your favorite character? Uh, I'm still going to go with Peter. I, I like Stu. Stu, like, Stu is good. <laughs> Peter is great. Stu is great. Like, I, they were all original. There was all... I really love the world that they like created with it. You know, you know, you bring it into this world. You're actually believing, you know how they live as vampires again it's like the real world meets vampires they're doing like a, this documentary crew is following them around and they're uh living uh as roommates together and they there's werewolves and it's i don't know i i love the heck out of this one i forgot how much i loved it yeah, it um it's hilarious it's entertaining i would highly recommend the heck out of what we do in the shadows a new zealand vampire movie horror comedy and this is definitely going to be on my list for top 10 underrated horror movies on blu-ray that video will be coming up soon. And there's over two hours of fantastic features on this Blu-ray release. Uh, 
glad you liked it. And now I think we're going to eat that lasagna that's been waiting downstairs <laughs> for us because you said you were hungry. Yes. And you didn't have any treats during it, but I did have some some Reese's Pieces right here. Let me know uh, what is your favorite or go-to movie snack. Leave me a comment down below. And we will see you in a minute with our lasagna to say goodbye. Yes, that's right. It's going to happen. Don't give me that look. <laughs> All the looks she gives me in the videos, I hope you guys are seeing it. And then in the beginning, was, I was like, you know, saying the S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y. <laughs> she looked terrified. And she's like, I've never been in a video like that with you. And then I showed her the video from like, three months ago. And I'm going to splice that into the beginning to show her saying, no, I've never done that. And then showing it, which is right next to me. You looked so happy in that video. And in this one, you look terrified. Like I just abducted you, my captive, right there. <laughs> so yeah, you, you were ready to admit that you were in that video. Yes, I was yeah. in that video. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And then today you just acted like it was the strangest thing you've ever heard. Well, well, yeah. thank you. You're very sweet. All right. So what would you rate what we do in the shadows? It would probably be like an eight point five or a nine. I thought it was really funny it, it's and no, original. It's no either or. You got to choose right now. What is it? Nine. Nine. All right. It's going to be a nine for me too. I absolutely love it. Highly recommend the heck out of it. One of the highest recommendations I can give. So much fun. Don't give me that look. Don't. I'm not giving any look. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it though. I did. And I feel like everybody should watch this movie. Like you don't have to be a horror fan. Like this, if you like it comedy, was funny. I, it's quirky. It's offbeat. It's original. It's creative. It's amazing. It's so much fun. And I freaking love it. And I forgot how much I loved it. Because uh, I saw it when it first came out. And I feel like I haven't seen it since. 2015. Holy moly. It feels like forever now. I didn't think it was that long now. But uh, definitely check this one out. And we will see you in a minute with Lazanga to say goodbye. All right. We're finally sitting down and having lasagna. What do you think of it? It's really good. It's delicioso. Um, um, it was well worth the wait. Yumtastic. I like the spices in there, good flavor to it. And I was thinking though, I am tired as heck right now. How about you? Very tired. I don't know how we're gonna do the twenty four hour horror movie marathon. <laughs> like I just don't foresee like we're we're gonna take like we're old we're people. We're gonna do it. We are definitely old people now. We need to become vampires is what it is. And <laughs> But it's going to be rough. We're going to have to be, we're going to take little naps, I think, throughout. I feel like that's how it's going to be. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Saturday night vlog slash movie night. And I'm glad that you enjoyed the movie. I feel like that's always a good feeling uh, of exhilaration, showing somebody a movie that you like and then they end up enjoying it too. I've introduced other movies to people and uh, they haven't liked it. And it's just like, oh, well, that's a bummer. So definitely happy. And I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video. And if you've seen... Uh, what we do in the shadows. Let me know what you think of it and let me know what your favorite horror comedy movie is and your favorite vampire movie. Uh, leave us some comments down below and hope everybody's doing well. Take care. Good night. Good night. Doing the dishes uh, she cooked, so I'm gonna clean up. And I feel like that's usually it. Although when I grill, I usually do the dishes and the cooking. <gasps> Take that it's, back. It's, is it not true? It's not true. 99.99% of the time. But she did a banging uh -huh. job on the lasagna, and I'm gonna do the dishes. And actually, I don't mind doing the dishes. I feel like it's cathartic. It's, you know, I, I feel like I do the best job doing the dishes in this household. You know, I get to <laughs> do, yeah, I get them the cleanest. How many times have I seen some stuff over here with, I have to put it back in there. I'm like, I could bring people around like a little kid, like, does that look clean? Oh, wow. But uh, go ahead and show that lasagna real quick. How banging is that? Oh, so good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. All right. That's it. Good night. Take care.